The SPI test is an aptitude test provided by Recruit Management Solutions, formerly known as HRR. It measures the two areas of personality and ability. SPI stands for Synthetic Personality Inventory. As Japan's first comprehensive aptitude test, it is frequently used in corporate entrance examinations, with 9,050 companies using it in 2012 and some local government using it as a substitute for civil service examinations. In 2012, 9,050 companies used the test and some local governments are using it instead of the civil service examinations. The test does not only test academic ability and knowledge, but also makes a comprehensive judgment from various aspects, meeting the needs of the people-centered approach. The company offers four forms of implementation, test center, in-house, web implementation, and paper implementation. Currently, test centers are permanently located in seven major cities. Similarly, Recruit Management Solutions also offers similar aptitude test called NMAT which tests the aptitude of managers, and JMAT, which tests the aptitude and ability of mid-level employees. In 1963, the recruit test, the predecessor of SPI, was developed. SPI was developed in 1973. In 2002, SPI 2 was developed. The test center was opened in 2004. In 2012, SPI 3 was developed. SPI 2 is accounting, language, personality. It is an employment recruitment test consisting of two parts. The difference between SPI and SPI2 is the SPI2 is a more comprehensive test. The difference between SPI and SPI2 is no more personality types. Web-based testing service, test center, in-house CBT, etc. have been added to the former mark shift system. These are the two points. In the new system, Questions that we are not asked in the mark sheet system are now asked and the tendency of the question has changed. As a result, it can be said that SPI2 has a wider range of ability tests than SPI1. In particular, the test center method in which you go to a venue and take the test from a computer has rapidly increased and is currently the most widely used employment recruitment test in Japan. There are several types of SPI2 depending on the purpose of the test. SPI2, Comprehensive Test, Both Ability and Personality Test. Personality Test, Personality Test Only. Ability Test, Only Ability Test. There are three types of tests, General Test, Both Ability Test and Personality Test, and Ability Test, Only Ability Test. The following methods are available for taking the SPI2 Test Center. The test taker goes to the reserved test center and takes the test on a computer at the test center. The results of the previous tests can be sent to the other companies so there is less burden on the students seeking employment. In-house CBT, a method of taking the test using a computer at the company. Web-based test, a method in which examinees take the test using a computer at home or elsewhere. The official name is Web Testing Service. Paper-based test. Mark sheet method. SPI3 is an employment recruitment test made by recruit company. SPI3 is an employment recruit test that consists of a personality test and an ability test. However, depending on the type of test, only certain areas may be tested and certain areas may not be tested. The difference between SPI2 and SPI3 are as follows. Structural comprehension has been added as an optional test. The personality test has been changed to be taken at home instead of a venue. Types of SPI3. There are multiple types of SPI3 depending on the purpose of the test. Test center. The test taker goes to the reserved test center and takes the test on a computer at the test center. The results of the previous test can be sent to other companies. In-house CBT. A method in which the test is taken using a computer at the company. Web test a method in which examinees take the test using a computer at home. The official name is Web Testing Service, Paper-Based Test, Mark Sheet Method.